What is salvation? This is section two. Salvation is a promise made by God that you would find your way to him at last. It cannot but be kept. It guarantees that time will have an end and all the thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. God's word is given every mind which thinks that it has separate thoughts and will replace these thoughts of conflict with the thought of peace. Salvation is nothing more than a guarantee that we will receive what has been ours always. Paragraph 2, the thought of peace was given to God's son the instant that his mind had thought of war. War, separation, I'm the authority, anything that conflicts with God is a thought of war. There was no need for such a thought before, for peace was given without opposite and merely was. We didn't need to be at war with God. There, there, there was no need for that, but we chose to have a thought that opposed God. So because we had a thought that opposed God, of course, salvation was guaranteed because God could not create anything that would allow for anything to oppose it. Sentence number three in paragraph two, but when the mind is split, there is a need for healing, healing our mistake. So the thought that has the power to heal the split became a part of every fragment of the mind that still was one, but failed to recognize its oneness. So we've always been one. We just did not, did not pay attention to the fact that any thought that we had of separation did not change oneness. It just created the illusion of separation. So because we had the illusion of separation, we now have to have the illusion of healing so we can receive what was already ours. Now it did not know itself and thought its own identity was lost, but it wasn't. So the healing is, is really the receiving. It's We're healing our mind from denying what is there and in the receiving of it it's we're simply taking back what was there always as ours because that's how God created it paragraph three salvation is undoing in the sense that it does nothing failing to support the world of dreams and malice thus it lets illusions go by not supporting them it merely lets them quietly go down to dust and what they did is now revealed, an altar to the holy name of God whereon his word is written with the gifts of your forgiveness laid before it and the memory of God not far behind. This is nothing more than we are revealing the truth that has been true always simply by our accepting the healing, accepting the salvation, accepting what we are. Paragraph four. Let us come daily to this holy place and spend a little and, and spend a while together. Here we share our final dream. It is a dream in which there is no sorrow, for it holds a hint of all the glory given us by God. The grass is pushing through the soil, the trees are budding now, and birds have come to live within their branches. Earth is being born again in new perspective. Night has gone, and we have come together in the light. Come to this place where salvation is guaranteed by just accepting that God has created us with a thought of peace, so therefore we must have peace within us. We come together to receive what was promised. Always has been there, and it's just awaiting but our recognition. Paragraph 5. From here we give salvation to the world. For it is here salvation was received. We're here in the world recognizing I am one with God. I am at peace. Let me receive that. And in receiving that, I am already at one and at peace with God. Of course, we extend it to the world because now that we know that we're at peace, we're not going to give up our peace by being upset with things in the world when we know we don't have to because salvation is already ours. The song of our rejoicing is the call to all the world that freedom is returned. Our joy, our rejoicing, once we're happy, that's the call that our freedom has returned. The time is almost over and God's son has but an instant more to wait until his father is remembered. Dreams are gone. Eternity has shined away the world and only heaven now exists at all. Salvation is but the recognition of what God has already promised to us. 
we are healed, when we accept that we have always been whole, we just thought we were not. That's all that this entire illusion is, is we thought we were not what we already are because that's how God created us. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next lesson.